Hello my marvellous sausages and zoo time again, 22nd of September 2023 and here he is, look, in the tower hangar and no one seems to give a monkeys that he's here. Hello sir, I'll talk to you. Right, let's have a look at what we've got weapons wise. First of all, we've got the Cerberus Plus One. Um, it's okay, it's not totally brilliant. It's uh, It does have a, a catalyst, which doesn't really do too much to it. I do quite like that ornament. That's not too bad either. Uh, so it's not bad, it's got shoots from all four barrels, I suppose you could say. And what is it? That's it, shoots erratic bullets from all four guns at the same time. And uh, with the uh, catalyst, you can swap to a tighter, closer range spread. It's not bad at all, actually. It's not too bad thinking about it. Just I haven't used it for yonks. So there we go. There's your Cerberus plus one. Next for the hunters, we have the Stompies. Well, an invaluable exotic if you don't have it. And the roll on this, even if it isn't very good, let's have a look at it. Well, it's a 65. Uh, we've got a 19 recovery. To, uh, the intellect spike is not great. The intellect's not great. Preferred that in discipline or strength and in mobility. But still, a 65 is not to be sniffed at. Increases your sprint speed and your slide distance as well. And uh, while your dodge energy is full, improves high jump strafe jump and triple jump they're very very good very very useful for all the jumping shenanigans uh, the armamentarium is fantastic for the titans nice and simple it gives you two boobs no it doesn't it gives you an extra grenade that's what it does yes uh, let's have a look at what we've got for the uh, statage when well, it's got a spike in resilience 62 isn't particularly high but a 20 in resilience is pretty good and 14 in discipline you could do a lot worse than that if you haven't got one or if you just got one to pull from collections that's not bad either and don't forget as well you may as well spell these legendary shards because they're going to be going at some point aren't they they're going to be starting to bugger off as of next season so get spending and oddly enough i just bought the um the ornament for this baby because it's quite frankly once you put the ornament on it it's the best looking ornament of the whole game i mean look at it uh, now the stats on this are um well it's got a big resilience stat 28 that's really really good for resilience the intellect spike isn't great it'd be better in discipline but still that's very very good now what's great about this is that it uh, kills and assists you make while standing in your well of radiance returns super energy and this really shined for me this week when we were doing our grandmaster nightfalls on the live stream uh, because it kept on giving me my super back, which was marvellous. So if you do uh, haven't got one of those, well worth picking up. It's very handy, and that is gorgeous. Now let's have a look at the weapons. And we don't have ratings on popularity, but I can basically tell you, because I can actually see what the most popular ones are. This one is the GN7 Pulse. It's uh, oddly enough, this is the most popular trait for people to keep. But for your theory crafters and the people who actually think it's a better role, what they prefer in there is Outlaw. So, mm, uh, firmly planted, that's low down on everyone's uh, chart. No one likes that one. High caliber rounds. It's kind of a middling perk to have there. And light mag is the bottom to have in that one there. So not great. And then we've got the slow 12 and the slow 10. Uh, they're the least popular there. So this is probably a D or an F in the popularity strikes. Strikes, stakes. We've got a range masterwork there though. And that is the most popular masterwork to have on this particular gun. So that was not great. Next we've got the peace of mind pulse rifle. Uh, now this of course is craftable. So if you haven't got crafted it yet and you've got some deep like harmonizer to spare this might be worth your while because this role isn't very good at all we've got harmonizer that's bottom in popularity and bottom with the theory crafters we've got auto loading holster which is second in popularity with the theory crafters but uh, it's kind of middling for popularity for the general community uh armor piercing rounds uh, that's pretty popular but not the most popular light mag is the least popular and then we've got polygonal and fluted barrel fluted barrel as well and we've got other uh, stability masterwork on that too and that's that's probably that's the second most popular there for the masterwork. I'd put this at a D or an E or an F rather. Yes, that's what I would say. Not a very good one. Now next we've got the Blood Feud. This is a stasis submachine gun, and this is actually a pretty good roll according to the theory crafters. But it's not so great if you're looking at it in popularity. It's interesting doing it this way because we can see what's what. Because this elemental capacitor is top of the picks for PVP uh, with the theory crafters. Uh, the one for PVP. PVE would be Wellspring. And then we've got Triple Tap. Now that's top of the picks again for the Theory Crafters, but no one gives a monkeys in the general community. That's third most popular there. Uh, and then we've got Extended Mag, which is the least most popular on both. Uh, but then we do have Fled Magwell, which is reasonably popular too. And then we've got Full Bore, an Arrowhead Break, which is very popular. And we've got a Range Masterwork on it too, which is the most popular masterwork. I'd have said that's probably a B, brushing an A, more than likely, firmly in a B 
yet. Now onto the timelines, Vertex, Solar Fusion Rifle Adaptive Frame. Not a good roll again, unfortunately. We've got a backup plan here, which is the least popular. Then we've got Lead from Gold, which is the third popular one here. Yeah, not popular with the... Well, actually, it's the most popular one in this with the Theory Crafters for PvE. And then you've got pre uh, pff, Enhanced Battery and Ionized Battery, which is middling to fair. And then you've got Transmission MS7 and Candle. P.S. And we've also got uh, a range masterwork on it too. Uh, but that one, well, the range is having a little look. 33%. Yeah, that's the most popular there. This is probably a C at a push in the popularity stakes. Probably a D. Next, we have the Sojourner's Tail. Uh, this is a solar shotty. It's a slug frame as well, which is quite nice. Uh, Popularity-wise, well, Frenzy, the second most popular one there. Tunnel Vision is the least most popular in that category. Assault Mag and Steady Rounds. Uh, well, Assault Mag is the highest and Steady Rounds is the worst. But we do have a couple of redeeming features, or at least one full bore. That's the most popular there. And Arrowhead Break as well, which is always handy. That's the third most popular. Ooh, I don't know. That's probably... Ooh, that's probably you see, wouldn't you say? Who knows? But yes, not great. Next, we've got the Fire of Forget Linear Fusion. It's Stasis. Uh, it's got a three-round burst, and it's a good weapon, all in all. This roll isn't great again, but we do have a couple of choices there with the origin traits. Uh, we've got high impact reserves rounds at the end of the magazine, deal more damage. That's not too bad. Not very popular, though. Chill Clip is the favourite to have there. Headstone, that's, I don't know how good this can be on a linear fusion. Not bad, I suppose, on a linear fusion, because you can take them out, but it's a third most popular. Uh, perk in that line. Usually field prep or rangefinder is popular there, but the headstone's not bad. Uh, ionized battery and uh, projection fuse, they're both middling. And then hammer forged rifling and chambered combat potato, they're not popular at all as well. And of course, we've got the uh, charge time masterwork on that as well, which actually is the most popular masterwork. So it's not bad. I'd say a C for that one, possibly a B. Next, and finally, we have the temptations hook. This is a great sword. It's a caster frame, so the heavy attack, shoots things with a full energy burst. It's lovely and it's very good. And this is a very good roll as well. Well worth having. A, possibly even an S, because Vorpal is the most popular one there, with a 40% having it there, which is great. A Tireless Blade, that's the second most popular perk there. Balance Guard, that's the first most popular. And Jagged Edge, which we have there. Glen Close, that's the, uh, that's the second most popular as well. So that's probably an A, bordering on an S. An excellent sword. If you haven't got it, well worth picking up. And the projectile just makes it even better. And the legendary armor. Let's have a look. It's the Wild Hunt set, which isn't a bad looking set, really, if you like bandages and the like. Uh, what have we got there? That is bonkers, those gloves. <laughs> I just looked at those. Look. 30 in resilience and 18 in strength. That's excellent for a resilience and a melee build. Brilliant for the warlocks there. That's good. Uh, here's the chest armor. I don't know if you like it. You've got half a collar. Isn't that strange? Yeah, I don't know if I like this piece uh, in how it looks, really. And we've got 64 in recovery, which is where we kind of want it for a warlock. That's not bad, actually. 64, that's not bad. There's the bond look. Nice and simple. Pimple. Yes, lovely. Uh, the helmet is a 64er. Nice looking helmet as well, actually, with a nice, well, a nice glowy bit. But again, we've got a resilient spike. Funny that's happening with the uh, warlocks this week. Uh, and an intellect there. That's not bad 64 it's okay and then finally the booties they do look pretty good actually the boots are like those boots we've got a 64 and we've got a 24 recovery and an intellect again so sort of half great really and titans let's have a look at the arms is what have we got here nice it's a plain set for the titan but that's pretty good because usually the arms look like uh, they've come out of dynasty uh what do we have here resilience is a 20 that's not bad either and a bit of a spike in discipline that's pretty good uh i've just bought the bloody chest piece i don't want it oh my god why do I do that? And it's not even that good. It's <laughs> got a 16 in resilience. Not that great. Quite nice looking, though. Uh, there's one going cheap if anybody wants one. Uh, here's the mark, which uh, luckily doesn't have a flap at the front, which looks odd. It looks like you haven't got anything on and underneath, so I'm glad it doesn't have that. There we are. Good. Wild Hunt Helm. Uh, quite a nice looking helmet with a handle as well for you to carry it. Well, on hot summer's day or when you're going for romantic strolls, it's 65 in total. 24 in discipline. Ain't bad, actually. And resilience 12, but we want that. 
Yeah, it's okay, but the discipline spike's nice. And then finally for the booties, very strange looking in the icon, aren't they? Because they're kind of metal trousers, but they've got flares. Uh, we've got 67, which is pretty damn big. 20 in recovery, 12 in resilience. So it's not brilliant in its stat spreadage, though. And here we are with the hunter's armor. Here we go for the arms. We've got a 63 there with a big spike in recovery, which is quite nice. Quite a nice looking uh, set of arms there for the uh, hunters. That's pretty good. <laughs> Well, it's not, is it? Let's face it. Look at that mobility is two. Yeah, forget I said anything about those. Uh, let's have a look at the vest. What we got here? We got a spiky mobility and discipline. That's not too bad at all. Nice knife on your midriff there. Here's the cloak. A good cloak, this one, because it allows people to see your helmet. Ooh, uh, that's pretty nice too, if you like that kind of thing. Uh, the wild hunt mask. Let's have a look at that. 22 spike and recovery. Mobility is dreadful again. 67 overall, though, and it's quite nice looking. And then finally for the feet, what have we got here? Well, we've got crampons. That sounds painful. And uh, we've got a 22 in resilience and again, a dreadful mobility count. That's a massive shame. And let's have a look at the Hawk Moon. Now we don't have any uh, popularity grades for this, but I can look at the most popular role and I can tell you the most popular role for Hawk Moon isn't this. This will probably be somewhere in the D range uh, because we've got polymer grip, whereas the favorite grip there is smooth grip. And then we've got moving target, which is very, very load on the charts. Range finder or opening shot is good there. Alloy magazine, that is the perk for that particular one. And then polygonal rifling, that's uh, pretty low as well. In fact, that's right down at the bottom as the least most popular. The one that people like there is hammer forged rifling. So that ain't very good for the Hawk Moon. And here we are with Banshee this week. And uh, we've got something which is of interest on the dailies. So this is going in six hours. It's this, the Pleiades Corrector Solar Lightweight Frame Scout. It's very good. It's got an A in popularity. Wellspring Outlaw armor piercing rounds, ricochet rounds, hammer falls, rifling, hey Rick, and also chambered comp and potato, and handling masterwork. Six hours left on this one, so come one o'clock Saturday morning, I mean, yeah, Saturday morning, it's a goner, and uh, the other one I want to show you is this, it's an Amit AR2, it's not a standout roll, but if you don't have one and you're looking for a solar auto with incandescent to complement some of your bills, here's one for you here, look, well picking up. Well picking up, well worth picking up, I mean, you stupid boy. Now, Trials of Osiris is back this week, of course, and uh, the map, we've got a little bit of trouble here because some people are saying it's Pacifica when it should be Javelin 4, although Bungie do say that they're aware of this and they're sorting it out. And if you're interested in what the weapon is, let's go and have a little look. I believe it's the Igneous Hammer. There we go. Yep, yeah, that's your Adept. We also had some very interesting information in the TWAB this week, I don't know if you saw it, about more secrets being unveiled in the uh, Imbaru engine. Now I've done a video on this week's Imbaru engine and how to work out where uh, all the chests are, which is very useful. Plus of course we've got two more secret chests in Savathun Spire there from all the way back in week two. So if you want to see where those chests are, they're well worth picking up because they do uh, refund each week so you can get a nice watch of stuff from them. Here's the video for that. And uh, don't forget, if you enjoyed the vid, like and subscribe. It's it's totally fantastic and helps me out immensely. Now, me and Zer are going to have a game of track and field all weekend whilst drinking Thunderbird. Thank you so much for watching, and I shall speak to you all again very soon. Sausage hurt.